Hi, I'm Emily, the founder of The Sorting Hat of Literature. And I'm Priska, the co-founder. Many of you may not know that our club exists, but The Sorting Hat of Literature organizes a book cafe, as you can probably tell by how organized it is, and hosts an actual book club. Well, we are here to tell you that our club and ASB are having a collaboration event. Wow! Using the newly organized book cafe, we will be hosting a reading marathon where you will be competing to read the most books during a two-week period. There will be four different groups, lower elementary, upper elementary, middle school, and high school. And each group will have separate prizes, so you don't need to feel worried about competing with older or younger students. The winners will be determined by how many pages you read in total in the two weeks. After you read a book, you will come to the book cafe, you will find a spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, you will write your name, book title, and the number of pages. And these total number of pages will be calculated to see who wins. And also, the book that you're going to be writing down must be read during the two-week period. If you had read the book beforehand, you have to reread it during the two-week period. Also, you're not allowed to write down any of the books that you're currently reading in English class. The Sorting Hat of Literature and ASB will be checking the books that you have read and see if they are at the right level for you. You shouldn't be reading books that are too easy or too hard for you. If you happen to read a book that is too easy for you, unfortunately, those pages will not be counted. If you have any questions about the level, please feel free to ask me or Emily. After the two weeks, our club and ASB will be calculating the pages and will announce the winners during Spirit Week. There will be an award ceremony where the winners will receive their prizes. Just a heads up, these prizes are worth reading. The last aspect of the reading marathon is our new shelf cards. Each of you will, will receive a personal shelf card that is the same color as your class. The card should have been distributed by the homeroom teacher before chapel started. So today you should write your full name on the card and you can decorate it however you'd like. And it should be done by the end of today. So you can give it to your homeroom teacher and it will be collected and returned to you Monday laminated and ready to use. These shelf cards will make sure that the book cafe remains organized. Also, if you plan on taking any of the books home, you have to go to Mr. Chris during the first period after school from Monday to Thursday. During that time, you're able to show Mr. Chris the book you want to take home. And after you take it home and you bring it back, you need to show it to him to confirm that you brought it back. And you yourself will put it back in the shelf. This is a detailed video on how you should use your shelf cards and how to borrow books if you're going to be taking them home. First, pick up your personal shelf cards from the table outside the book cafe. Next, before taking out a book, put your card in the shelf, then take out the book you want to read. If you are choosing to take the book home, make sure to ask Mr. Chris. To borrow or return any books, please go to him only during Monday through Thursday, first period after school. Also remember to knock before giving Mr. Chris your book and wait outside until he is done. A few moments later. The time that you are allowed to borrow the book is for two weeks. During the two weeks, you are free to return the book to Mr. Chris. Once you have finished reading the book, you will go to Mr. Chris to return it during after school first period Monday through Thursday. Remember, if you're reading the book on school campus, you must use your shelf card, but there is no need to borrow it through Mr. Chris. A few moments later. After showing Mr. Chris that you brought the book back, make your way to the book cafe. Go to where you put your shelf card and first put the book back in its place, and then take out your shelf card. Lastly, place your shelf card on the table in front of the book cafe for safekeeping. Or if you would like, feel free to borrow another book right away. Good job! So that is how you use your shelf cards and borrow books. Remember that if you're reading your books on school campus, there is no need to go to Mr. Chris and borrow your books. Just return your books using your shelf cards. This reading marathon will start next Monday on May 31st at 8 a.m. So you are able to start reading your book at 8 a.m. And this competition will end on June 11th at 3.40. 3.40 is the last time you are allowed to write any of the books on the spreadsheet because we will be taking it down. So prepare yourself to read your way to a prize. And remember that you do need to finish decorating your shelf cards by today homeroom. Thank you and good luck!